Now a lovely, beautiful piece of music there, Allegri's Miserere. Absolutely gorgeous, celebrating as it does for us in polyphony and in plain chant. Psalm number 50, uh, the psalm of King David. Have mercy on me, God, in your, comp in your compassion, in your kindness, blot out my offence. You're listening to Radio Maria Ireland. Uh, Father Eamon McCarthy here with you. I have the camera in front of me again today. Uh, thanks indeed to William Chuke, who's doing a lovely job on producing these videos. And an opportunity for me again to share visually with you and exchange with uh, YouTube uh, watchers and so on, uh, the great beauty of radio broadcasting and the beauty of the message of Christ and his church. So zooming in straight away, chapter 20 of John's Gospel, Jesus appears in the upper room at the resurrection and uh, after the, you know, he's celebrating the resurrection, breathes on the apostles, receive the Holy Spirit. Those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Amazing moment in the life of the church, continuing his mission of mercy in the forgiveness of sins. And the first reaction, forgiveness of sins, really? <laughs> you, you won't expect me to confess my sins? Where is this going? And I just want to address that briefly, if I may, with you and, and come back to that idea. You know, what is the Lord going on at here? So Radio Maria Ireland, www.radiomaria.ie is our website. You can tune in to us via the app, download it free, Radio Maria Ireland, and indeed join with us by phone, by email. Uh, write to us, St. Anthony's Business Park, Ballymont Road, Dublin 22. Email us info at radiomaria.ie. Text us 0894672000 and telephone 0141234456 if you're outside of Ireland, plus 353 and dial that number and we'd love to hear from you. This is meant to be interactive, an exchange, a dialogue, growing in faith together and understanding our faith all the more. So here's the big deal with Catholics. We go to confession. We tell our sins. We look for mercy. Where do you start with this idea? How will the apostles know there are sins to be forgiven unless they are told the sins that need to be forgiven or retained, as the case may be. Therefore, we need some kind of exchange of confession of sins. Now, people balk at that idea, but it's what's known as a natural sacrament. It's happening all the time, all around. If you watch any amount of TV, you'll see the chat shows, you'll see the interview panels, TV and radio in gory detail, let me add of people's, the drama that people make of their lives. And it doesn't make for much in the way of entertainment. It's kind of, uh, what's that word? Um, where you're kind of uh, zooming in on people's lives. In, in, in. Anyway, it's kind of like, you know, celebrity gossip, all these things, agony, ants, columns. People pour out their souls. Voyeurism, that was the word I was thinking of. Kind of an excessive focusing on other people's lives, hanging out the dirty laundry and all that stuff. It's happening all around us. You know these courtroom scenarios as well, the people's court. You, you get all the dirt and, and there it is, it's all on display. And you're, you've got a problem with confessing your sins? Yeah, it's, you know, I, all the public stuff is ugly enough. I can cope with the private forum, thanks very much. I'll go into a confessional and we'll, we'll do it that way. But as a natural sacrament, it, we can't function without confession at a natural level, forget the church for a moment, forget that Jesus' is, is instructions there and the power of the Holy Spirit. But unless I'm able to say sorry in the context of the family or the business or the workplace, how, how, how can I move on? How can I trust anybody? How can we relate to one another unless we identify the faults? Hey, you're doing this out of line or this is out of whack or you need to change this. How otherwise can we, can we do this? So if, if, you, if you need evidence, if you want somewhere to start, look, sacred scripture, just illustrate to you. Have your Bible handy. Start with John chapter 20. That's where the, that sacrament of confession begins for us as followers of Christ. And you might say, well, you know, uh, I, I have no sins. Why, why do I need to do this? Well, listen, just hold on a second and go back again. State examinations, you know, in Ireland, junior cert, leaving cert, you've got a state standard that you have to meet, and if you don't meet it, you don't get the points you need to go on and do third level education. Uh, the rules of the road, how's that for a set of rules that we need to follow? You can drive on the wrong side of the road, feel free, let me know how you do, come back and let, see how you get on. Again, there are state rules. We might say, well, I don't like rules, too many rules. The tax man, listen, you try that one on and let me know how you do as well. 
if I don't give a full account of what I owe in taxes, I'm in trouble. And so is the, the state, as it turns out. <laughs> he needs tax, the government needs the tax to, to pay the bills and so on. And I mean, boil it down to your credit card that comes in each month with a detailed itemized list of everything you need to pay. And it's a regular practice where we cough or put whatever the bill happens to be <laughs> at the right intervals. And it goes on in terms of the, the natural way that confession works or accountability works. If you're on a diet, you probably have a dietitian or somebody who's telling you what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat, and you fess up as to, well, here I've indulged here or there, and you stay on the road of that diet if you want to get well. If you want to be good at music, you have a mentor, you go to classes, you follow the rules of music, you, you learn what it takes and you practice, practice, practice to get good at it, to grow in virtue, in other words. Or if you're on a, in a fitness regime, you go to your, your fitness coach, you're out there pounding the road and, and they're telling you, you know, all the weights you've got to do and the gym, all that stuff. And again, you're getting guidance to grow in a, a certain path of formation physically, physical health or mental health for that matter, psychiatrists, psychologists, it's there, it, it's the most natural thing in the world. What's the problem? And there's something absolutely beautiful about it, allowing the Holy Spirit to enter into that conversation by way of the grace of God in the mercy that Jesus gives by the power of the Holy Spirit. The priest says, I absolve you in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It's Christ who absolves by the power of the Spirit. That brings physical well-being, as well as spiritual well-being, by the way. It's the healing power of the sacrament of confession. Well, I'm going to stop there because I can refer you and look in the description below for the link to the longer version of this talk, which is as a podcast on our website, radiomaria.ie, and I've titled it simply The Healing Power of Confession. So I pray God's healing upon you this day to open your hearts and minds your conscience, your heart, to his life-giving spirit, which cleanses us of sin by the power of Christ's blood upon the cross, that you may know that pardon, that peace, and that healing that God's mercy brings. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks so much for watching our video. This is our studio here, Radio Maria Ireland, St. Anthony's Business Park in Ballymont Road, Dublin 22, just across from the Red Cow Hotel. You're welcome to come and join us here physically in person for prayer anytime and to help us out if you wish to, to volunteer. But by all means, listen in and join us for Holy Mass 10 o'clock each day and our prayer and catechesis and ongoing formation. And we'd love to have your company there. So you can check us out, radiomaria.ie on our website. You can listen in via downloading the app or through Facebook as well. And do like, share, follow, and connect in with us. We'd love to hear from you.